There's a unique vibe to booting up Juice Galaxy. Words can't do it justice, but the eyes perceive volumes. Right, I was trying to fix someone's toilet and then I wound up in the dream world. It's little Mr. Fox. Ah, hello. Glad to see someone else here. Why are you screaming at me? Oh, nothing. My bad. I got spooked earlier. I'm hiding in here. Spooked by what? Well, I was writing a letter outside when it got all dark out. I felt really nervous, like something was watching me. Dropped all my papers and ran in here. Well, it is light out there now. I'm way too scared to go back out there now. Could you get all the pages for me? I'll just keep hiding. Sure, me and my skull-clipping sunglasses will get right on that. I'm late for October. Written apology by little Mr. Fox. I'm sorry I did it. I've been really stressed out at school cause... You, leave that tree alone. Ever since this one comment, I've been wondering what the juice tastes like. To be fair, everybody does look like candy in this game. I imagine it's like drinking a big corrupted fruit gusher. What was that? I accidentally slapped my right-click button and that happened. Interesting, if I hold shift, I get a crosshair. Now, what if I do this? Wow! I can trip out clowns from a distance. Oh, a candy cane. Uh, but I don't have enough room. Like Grandma used to say, there's always room for Berserk. Hey. Personal space. Deck the halls with the corpses of your enemies. That's my favorite, Carol. I don't know why I have two baseball bats. Honestly, I think it's time to let some stuff go. I have a lot of heavy juice, but no knowledge of what to do with them. Clone weapon with increased velocity. What does that mean? Oh, but I can't lock on. So this book has essentially taught me how to throw things like a juvenile. What if I become Skyborn? Gotta say, this is not a very manageable power. I'm gonna swap back to my tiny sun powers. The notes. Where'd you put them? Your frolicking doesn't fool me. You look like a lot of fruit roll-ups that gain sentience. Oh, that's how you defeat boulders. Ah, uh, the bygone childhood pastimes of drinking rocks outside. Dream Eater? Where? Is it you? Are you the Dream Eater? I'm gonna set you on fire. Oh god! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god, you're tough. I activated the boss battle with my intrusive thoughts. What are you doing? Whoa! Well, stop sensing my fear, it's rude. You can't have my soul, it's mine. I feel like I'm playing the world's most cursed version of Star Fox. Where instead of stars or foxes, there's sentient rotisserie chickens and satanic taffy monsters. Whoa. Whoa! Don't touch! No touches from you. Wow, this sunblast is coming in clutch. Ah, a bit stuck on the scenery, are we? Nice. You may look to be made of black licorice, but I'm no finicky eater. You know, it's moments like these where I'm more disturbed by myself than the monster. Gravity sphere. What does that do? It looks like a forbidden jawbreaker. <laughs> it's like a trap mechanic. There was this episode of Ed and Eddie where they had like this fantasy sequence where one of them had access to like every jawbreaker in existence and you could see all the colors and flavors. I always wanted to try the one that looks like this thing. My powers of nonsense have increased tenfold but I still possess but one page of notes. Is that another? I think so. This is how I looked scaling one of those climbing walls at the arcade. Luckily, I am versed in upside down. Stuff to do every day, like it's not enough that I live in class and I don't eat much and don't get to see my family. Well, that doesn't make sense. Oh wait, this is page five. 
Look at me, I'm so graceful. I guess that demonic Twizzler didn't have a page on him. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I tore him asunder with pure physics! What have I unleashed upon the world? I struggle to grasp consequence, so it matters not to me. To be honest, if I manifested as a cosmic being, that's probably what I would look like. Clumsily drift-stepping among the stars, hoping not to be drank by a chicken with sunglasses. Is my guy humming as he lollygags through the atmosphere? By simply holding spacebar, I can pretend to be a drone. Someone should make a drone of this. It would probably make my commute to see this thing zooming through the air. My lungs would collapse, but it would still be the highlight of my day. What a pretty tree. This period of majestic flopping has given me time to notice that I have hands for feet. How minutely disturbing. It also makes me wonder why I can't quadruple wield weapons. Are those it? I love how the draw distance clipping is telling me where all the notes are. This is perfection. I don't want to do the reading, but you guys make me do it anyway and I hate it because it sucks. I don't want to read. That's exactly how I felt about algebra. And you laser my butt if I say the wrong stuff. Like, am I lasering you when you call me Mr. Dog? Nah. I don't laser. He's talking about Miss Slithers. I don't blame him. Nobody should be getting their butt lasered over the Pythagorean Theorem. Like, I just want to chill and you guys are always telling me what to read when I could be vibing. You give me this big old list of- I am sympathizing with everything this kid has written. Kindred spirits are the fox and I, for I am a turkey breast with a book. I would really like to read this note, but I am 60% helium and it's making it difficult for me. Piopo. Anyways, sorry I opened the door and sorry I left. Love, Mr. Fox. Oh, revealing draw distance. Show me the last note. Old boring stories about dumb farm animals and their stupid politics. I don't care about the social commentary or implications. Wow, Miss Slithers actually had us read an animal farm. I don't really know what that has to do with making juice, but okay. So when exactly did you get scared by Licorice Freddy Krueger? Did you write one page per dream tentacle and then move to another one? Or is your flight instinct to baseball pitch every individual possession you have as you run? You have my pages! Thank you! What a relief. You're welcome. Is that it? While not the same as unclogging a toilet, helping someone sleep better is probably its own reward. I found a crawl space. It's a coal dog. Ow. I'm not usually one for harming doggos, but I have a feeling this is how it's supposed to be. Understandable, have a nice day. This is probably what it's like to go to sleep when you're already asleep. I feel like I've drank me from the future like three times already. Well, I guess it's time for plumbing simulator. Why does it say completed already? You know, if toilets were actually that powerful, there would never be clogs. I possess the gift of physics. Actually, that held razor is pretty tough. I'm gonna give you a holy slap. Or not. Well, I don't know if I suck. I mean, look, I just got another kill after I died. This level of unfathomable consumption is only achieved when I hit up a White Castle. Ah yes, the sweet squeak of stat leveling. Look at that, I demolished Grodnak. I banished him to the corner of the Dookie Cave. Telekinetically move and crush a foe that is weaker than you. Okay, let's test this out. This is funny, but it's not doing any damage. Looks like he's trying to give me a high five. What if I slam him against things? <laughs> is my enemy still my enemy if it's my weapon? It seems the power of the sun is unrivaled. And it even works underwater. I guess I'll know I've encountered the boss when looking at it disturbs me on a visceral level. I don't know what that is, but it's my favorite. I mean, I'm back where I came from, right? Accomplished I hat the Sandy. Who is giving you names? I'm inside this fox's toilet, bringing fire and war to all within it. 
yet I can't find the boss. The walls are moving, so maybe I'm getting closer? Is that what you sound like? Is that your war cry? You sound like a deflating balloon. Well, I found another fountain. And this is looking less familiar, so maybe I'm getting close. I mean, this might as well be what goes on inside a toilet to most people. Peep that air catch. Uxod the affectionate? I feel like deception is afoot. Nonetheless, you are blocking the way. Okay, now these are like level 100 enemies. I must be getting close. <laughs> you look different. Ha, another tourist enters this land of pipes. Yeah. Do you have plungers for limbs? I think you do. Listen, tourist. There is nothing here for you. That's not what Mr. Fox said. Go back up the pipe and never return. Plunger death wheel. Oh. Tornado. Whoa, hang on a second, hang on a second, I need to get my battle gear ready. Ow! Hold on. Or not, you can be rude and just attack me. Are you stuck? Okay, gotta get my ultimate weapon. Oh, that wasn't the energy you had before. Get ready for my plunger kick. Get ready for my Buick grill. Get ready for a plunger death wheel. Oh yeah, I got nitrous. Plunger tornado. High velocity headlight the attack. Claw punched off all my arms and legs and left me to die. I had them replaced with these tools of war. <laughs> I underestimated you. You are a worthy foe. Here, take my plunger. You'll need it. What? Patui. That's a massive plunger. It does one job and does it well. This is the first time I've beaten a boss without being able to drink them after. This is undoubtedly the only game in existence that could make me form that sentence. Oh no, I don't have room for my Honda. Watch me read the comments and somebody's gonna tell me that that was like the best juice ever that I gave up. But to be honest, how much does power scaling really matter in a game like this when- Whoa! Okay, it's me, the clog. And I don't move for nobody. My purpose is clear. Oh my god. Oh my god, it moves. You lied to me. You said that this does one job and does it well. Hey, get back here. Uh, it's doing like no damage. Rush it. Oh, actually, it is working. what you've just unleashed. You gave me the plunger. Finally. After all this time. David Hater, I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. Swirly B has risen once more. Really ugly. I... I guess I've unleashed a dubstep concert. Okay, Excision. Can I go home now? 